on the road with the Australian cricket team, thanks to Toyota. G'day guys, time for another one of Maxie's blogs and after having so much success with our debutante last game, Joe Burns, I thought I'd move on to another debutante in uh, Marcus Stoinis and to tell you the truth, this is the only place I'd ever find him is in the gymnasium, so let's hope, oh look at this, what an absolute shock this is. Oh Maxie, what are you doing here mate? Oh mate, I just thought I'd come for a chat but obviously I've uh, interrupted you midway through a gym session. Oh, I wish you uh, gave me a bit of more, bit more notice before you uh, came in here. <laughs> Uh, how many are you up to? I just said it was about a thousand, yeah? Yeah, I don't know if you heard, I did about a thousand and one there. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Uh, so this is obviously Marcus Stoinis, uh, soon to be debutante in the T20 side. Stoinis, just tell us a little bit about your journey into the Australian team, starting way back in the uh, under-19 days for Australia and then uh, obviously WA as well. Yeah, so under-19s for Australia. Uh, that's when I was obviously living in Perth. Uh, played a few games for WA when I was quite young, 19-20. Um, and then lost my contract for a couple of years and made the move to Victoria and um, pretty much it's all gone from there over the last two or three years. Moved over to the better side of the uh, country obviously, uh, the eastern side. You enjoyed your time with the Vicks? Yeah, I've loved it with the Vicks, yeah. Now I believe the uh, Vicks have given you the nickname Oil. Can you just give us a little bit of background on Oil? Uh, there's a few meanings behind Oil. Um, look, part of it is because I'm Greek and so anything with olive oil or uh, all that sort of stuff, just being oily in general. Yep. Um, there's also the, the stronger emphasis that it's more on um, the fact that I'm an oil painting. Um, that's where I like to go down. I like to go down that track. Yep. Um, and yeah, and also uh, I've been caught using tanning oil once or twice. Let's, let's talk a bit more on the tanning oil. Have you, is it, this is uh, one of the Marcus Stoinis facts I've heard. Did you enter a bodybuilding uh, competition and did you win? Uh, no, I did not enter a bodybuilding <laughs> competition. Um, but if I did, I would have been in the, in the, uh, on the podium. Top, top two thought, or three. Yeah, 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 I would have thought. Hell of a rig he's got. So oil rig, I think, is the one that everyone's going with over here. Uh, just uh, give us a bit of a little bit of a background on your, obviously, your off season. Uh, you achieved the rare feat of six sixes and over, I think, against the NSP. Just uh, talk us through that. and. How you uh, came about to be such a big hitter of the cricket ball? Um, well, that was a, a pre-season game heading into the Australia A Tour in India. Um, and really it was a little bit of bullying. Um, it was a short boundary. There was a big heavy wind going towards the short boundary as well. Um, and I just sat back on the back foot and, and popped a few over the fence. Just a chance for you to flex a bit of muscle, yeah? That's it, yeah. The oil rig. Brilliant. So, Stoyan, thanks very much for joining us. Wish you all the best in your debut. And obviously, after the first blog went so well, we're expecting you to perform just as well as Burnsy. So, mate, go so well. And uh, looking forward to seeing Stoyan hit a couple of the ropes, take a couple of wickets, and dominate for Australia. So, as always, keep catching up on the, uh, all the blogs and all the action on cricket.com.au and uh, watch Stoyan in his debut in a couple of days' time. Cheers. Thanks.